Hi, my darlings. How are you? This message is going to be for the week of the 29th of October to the 4th of November. I know I'm a little late, and I do ask you to have patience with me. So, I will be using my Angel Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be, angel, you, <laughs> I'll be using my Guardian Angels message or my guardian angel messages tarot so let's see what messages we have for you libra because this is about you So Libra, this is for you. The Eight of Air. You got yourself in a bind not too long ago. What happened? You lack a little self-confidence and you're afraid to take action. You got the Eight of Air. This is your own doing, but I'm not pointing fingers. Sometimes we do that, okay? We put ourselves in situations. The next thing you know, we all tied up. Then we got the release. It's the end of that situation, whatever it was. We got the release card, the end of a phase or a situation. And we got the Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity. You see how things can end and make room for new beginnings. I want you to pay attention to that, okay, guys? Always pay attention to that. I know when things end in life or, you know, when we go through something that's ending or ended, um, it really shakes us up, you know, and we're like, oh, we're in a frenzy. Breathe, relax, everything works out. We break down sometimes, we build back stronger. We got the Ace of Fire, you got some new opportunities here. I hope you guys can hear me. I had a complaint that when I move forward like this and I talk to you guys that someone couldn't hear me. So I'm making sure you guys can hear me. See, when I lean forward, I want you to know I want you to lean forward. And the last word I said was saying. So I don't know if you can hear it. But anyway, we got the strength card. You got a lot of inner strength, baby. You need to release those harsh, harsh judgments on yourself. Stop with the name calling. Start speaking to yourself in a different way. Change the way you say anything. Stop using words. I'm so overwhelmed and I'm so frustrated. They dull your light. Don't do that to you. We got the strength card. We got the seven of air. Your plans need revision, but that's okay. There's more going on than really meets the eye right now. The seven of air could also be about betrayal. Okay, and maybe backstabbing. So watch your back. But don't go and accuse nobody now. <laughs> so we got the seven of air. Then we have the five of earth. Because of this feeling here, and you're aware of this feeling. You're aware of whatever the situation is here. Because of this, you have the feeling of lack. I got the five of earth. You have fears. It says surrounding money. Stop worrying. This feeling is temporary. And it's just because of what situation is, is going on. Now, it's totally up to you guys. If you want to move on from the situation or if you want to just, you know, stay a little longer feeling that way. All right? You don't want the mindset of lack to hang around too long. But it is temporary. You got the five of earth. Then we got the wheel. What did I tell you? You got good fortune on your side. Time for positive change and a situation is suddenly going to move forward. <clears throat> Unity. You already know. You got all the knowledge you need to know about whatever situation is going on. 
you know. We got the, the Knight of Fire. Hmm, excuse me. We got the Knight of Fire here. Um, this is like impulsive kind of energy, okay? The card says a sudden event needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So there may be something that's going to come up that you're going to want to jump at and make a decision or something is going to need your attention. Just take a few minutes. Make sure you make the right decision, whatever it is, okay? Only you can determine what the right decision is. So let's see. Libra. My Libras. Okay, Darren. So I have a friend who's an astrologer. He's going to be coming live with me. We're trying to figure out how we're going to go about doing things and things like that. But we're going to have some fun. We're going to have a little bit more fun. So I know I do owe um, a couple of videos to some people. And I am getting there. Please have patience with me. Okay. Those on TikTok. Thank you. And those, I do have one message I think I left. I think I've answered everything in my email. So just be patient with me, okay? I do get it. And when I do respond to you, I do respond to you, all right? But only you can contact me. I'm not con contacting you. Remember that. I'm also going to make you a video. There are a lot of cons, a lot of scammers out there on TikTok. I don't know about here. I know some of them be popping up in my messages and stuff. Be careful. Don't be that desperate to want to get a reading with me. I don't do any face-to-face -face readings, okay? And I'm not going to pop up in your box and say, Hey, dear, I looked at your name, and I could just tell that you had some, some, something heavy in you. You know what I'm going to say to that? F that. And I ain't going to say that nicely either. I'm about to make a video. You see, I'm a really nice person. But this kind of underhanded, sneaky crap, I don't like. I don't like when people's money is taken from them. Unwillingly, when they think they're paying for a service that they're not even getting. So be careful, all right? Be careful. If you want to get in touch with me, you know how to get in touch with me. And that's all I'm going to say. You can figure it out. So on top of the eight of earth, Libra, we got the four of water. You're a little self-absorbed here because of the situation that you got yourself into, right? Um, you got the five of earth. But please remember that this is, um, this is past energy I'm telling you about. We got the four of water. We got the five of water. And we got the six of fire. Oh, I also, uh, oh, anyway, I'll tell you another day because I could keep going and tell you so many things that I find exciting and interesting, but we'll keep going. So we got the four of water, we got the five of water, and we got the six of fire. So you're really self-absorbed and you're pretty distracted. And that's because you're thinking about the past and you're crying over spilled milk. Whatever it was that you got yourself into, it's over. All right. Stop doing that to yourself, babies. Don't do that. All right? You got the six of fire. You will successfully overcome this situation. Whatever it is, you will successfully overcome. Remember, we got the release card here. So we got the four of water, the five of water, and the six of wands. Or the six of fire. Then we got the release card. Endings and transformation, the end of a phase, it's just making room for new things to come in. Even if somebody leaves our life, there's a reason. There's a reason. You have evolved in some way that it's time that they get left behind because they have not moved the same time with you. I hope you can get what I'm saying. Anyway, we got the release card on top of the release card. We got the ace of fire. You got the ace of fire over here. There's new opportunities. <laughs> You're very creative. You got balance. You're going to need to find a little compromise and self-control. And you are the magician, baby. Once you get them motions or whatever it is, this little up and down, you are magical. Now, I should say all this was is you were 
anything you manifested, anything you could make come true. Or maybe you already made it come true. We got the Ace of Fire, we got the Balance, and we got the Magician. And now we got the Ace of Fire again. Now this card here, this Ace of Fire is talking about uh, exciting new opportunity and possibly career advancement. But there's something in your environment you need to change. So let's see, on top of the Ace of Earth, we got the Seven of Water. So you might be over over analyzing things or procrastinating or if you got so many choices and you don't know what to choose that's because you're self-absorbed okay you need to get out of your head we got the nine of air i just said you need to get out of your head you know so you gotta get out of your head stop thinking stop worrying babies listen when you worry that's the vibration that you're putting out into the universe when you speak negatively words have weight Okay, words have weight. You don't want to put negativ negativity out. You want to bring positivity in, right? So what you got to do? You got to change this. You got to change this. Every time you find a negative thought form and you change it around. I have to do it all the time. I'm a Gemini. You know, so I mean, that always feels like there's a big old confusion sometimes. You know, it's not all the time. But every once in a while, I'm like, dang. Let me take a minute because I have learned and it's practice, okay? But you can learn how to turn these thoughts around. You got the five of fire. You got some conflict here too. You got inner conflict. These conflicts are, um, are, are blocking your creative opportunities. And you being in your head, you're very negative about something, babies. And I don't know what's going on. You got choices. But you don't know what to choose. You're the magician, baby. Got that. You got the seven of water. You got the nine of air. And you got the five of fire. You got some inner conflict. And it could be because, you know, overanalyzing the choices, feeling negative in your head about whatever the situation is. <laughs> so then we got the strength card. I say you ain't going to stay there too long. That's just what I think. We got the renewal card. You're going to do some self-evaluation. You're going to do some reflecting. You're going to start feeling brand new. You're going to start having happy thoughts about the past and maybe about a past celebration. Because now we got the renewal card, which is about the self-reflection and self-evaluation. The six of water is about um, happy memories. You know, it's happy memories. And also could be not so happy because with self-eval, now I'm thinking about it. With self-evaluation, when you go within and you start healing those traumas and those wounds and you start facing them, listen, it gets pretty rough and it's very, very bumpy. So maybe you're thinking about past memories because you're doing a self-evaluation. Whatever it is, at the end of that self-evaluation, darling, I'm telling you this, you're going to start feeling, oh, you're going to just want to celebrate life. We got the renewal card, we got the six of water, and we got the three of water. All right? And that's above the strength card. We got the seven of air here. Your plans need revision. There's a few things going on. You know, it's a little betrayal, something, maybe something to do with money, or maybe you're self-sabotaging. You know, maybe we do that sometimes to ourselves. So just think about it. You might be very, very focused. You, you're so focused and you're within yourself. You're focused on something. It has something to do with finances. You're going to have the communication. I think you're worrying and you're wondering, where is this? Where is this? Where is this coming from? Where is this money? Is this going to be true? Maybe you, you're feeling that way. Your plans need revision. Um, just do things a little differently. Um, whatever it is. Pay attention. If you have the feeling within you that something isn't right with whatever situation that's going on, whatever details it is that you're looking at, if, whether it's a contract or whatever the situation is, okay, you trust yourself and your feelings, whether to stay with it or to leave. Now, this could be any life situation. Just stop for a minute. 
because these cards can they can um, identify with so many situations you know that's why i don't particularly you know like tell you a story you know i tell you a story but you know i explain the cards to you so we got the eight of pentacles you're very focused on these details here don't be so focused thinking somebody's gonna betray you though okay you're deep within yourself you might be alone right now maybe that's what it is maybe that's why there was heartache over there the the crying over spilt milk. And then we got the page of air here. You're going to receive the communication. It's going to be some truthful communication. <clears throat> or maybe you are going to be truthful. Because you do have a mouth on you. You do have a mouth on you. Uh, for the most Libras I know. I know they got a mouth on them. So let's see. The five of Earth. Fear, surrounding money, the mindset of lack. You need to use your intuition. Use your intuition. You're a very jealous person too. Got some jealousy around you. You're waiting some messages. You're waiting good news. You're going to get good news. You're manifesting it. You're manifesting it. And there's abundance coming. You just need to believe. You got the page of water. You got the page of earth. And you got the ace of earth. So there's some new financial opportunity coming here. Remember now, don't be so self-absorbed and overanalyzing things, okay, like you've done in the past. Remember, for everything we go through in our life negative, there is a lesson that we should learn or we were supposed to learn from it, okay? So, think back to situations and see what it is that you missed if you didn't get it if you didn't learn from whatever it was so anyway but you need to use your intuition you're gonna get some you're gonna get some messages you're gonna have good news you'll be manifesting it and you got the ace of earth like i said new financial beginnings then we got the wheel that's about good fortune there's an ending to whatever was happening there's a change coming um if i'm not mistaken i think you had the release card somewhere you have the release card up here. <clears throat> so there's something transforming in your life right now. Um, you're going to probably start seeing things not so clearly. There's some kind of transformation, though. It's good fortune. Or maybe it's taking a minute to come. The moon is about using your intuition. The moon is about things being hidden and you not being able to see them as yet. And that might be what's going on. We got the five of earth. This is temporary. This is the mindset of lack. Whatever it is that you're not seeing clearly, you will soon see if that is the situation. You might have already had clarity on the situation. However, it resonates with you, okay, babies? You got the release card, you got the moon, and you got the five of earth. Maybe it's the ending of... um. You doubting yourself? Let's see. Let's keep going. So we have the release card. We have the moon. And we got the five of pentacles. That just says lack. You know, like you're not seeing things as clearly as they are. But that five of pentacles, that five of earth is um, temporary. If you hear me say earth, I mean pentacles. If you hear me say fire or you hear me say wands, it's um, fire. If you hear me say swords, it's air. If you hear me say water is cups, or if you hear me say cups is water, okay? Just so you know, I just get, you know, because I use different cards. So whatever it is, darling, you will have the knowledge and you will have clarity. Remember, you have the unity card here. You got the king of water now. This could be an energy. Oh, you got two energies in your environment here. <laughs> or this could be you, Libra. I got the king of water, I got the king of air, and I got the wheel of fortune. 
You're gonna have you you're gonna know everything that you need to know. Now the king of water could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. It could also mean that you're feeling emotionally balanced. The king of air could be you, or this could be another air energy in your environment. It could be uh, another Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Whatever it is, there's about to be some change here. You got the wheel of fortune, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good for you. This is. You got the wheel over here too. Some good fortune. I think whatever it is that you're going through, wherever your mind is at, something is going on with you. You just seem like you're waiting. I mean, you might you you might be working towards it. You're successful not too long ago. You got new ideas and opportunities. Financial new beginnings. Let's see. Okay. So things will calm down. Whatever is up and down for you, there might be some kind of thing coming in here with a with a, a water energy, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, the King of Air, like I said, it could be you. And then you got the wheel here. Whatever the situation is, you're making progress. There's some kind of change coming. And things are going to start calming down in your environment. So you got the King of Water, you got the King of Air, and you got the wheel. On top of all your knowledge, okay? Then on top of the night of fire, which is like impulsive energy, you know, um, is the six of air, the eight of water, and the ten of water. So I would say all these mindsets of lack, worry, choices that you're overanalyzing, I say at the end of it, things will calm down for you. You're going to be able to find what you're looking for. I got the six of air, which is calm. Your environment is calming down. We got the eight of water. Thinking about moving on, or maybe you are moving to moving on to for, moving on to feel fulfilled, but not necessarily physically moving. You know what I mean? Maybe you have done your your self evaluations and stuff, and you feel brand new, and you, you you're just feeling good, feeling fulfilled. And we got the ten of water, and the ten of water is about happy family. Love and happy family. Do you see how things work out? We are the ones who keep things hanging around longer than they should. And we can change that. So we got the six of air, the eight of water, and the ten of cups. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon. Bye.